When I turn the small poles for my cabinets and stuff, I have a really simple technique because I'm not that great of a turner and I don't do it that often. Basically, I start off with a square blank. I turn it uh, into a cylinder and then I just cut little sections of that uh, long enough to give me both the little shank and also the pole itself. So this is half inch diameter. This is nice because it just fits into a regular drill press chuck on my lathe. The first thing I do is I want to turn the little shank that's going to get glued into the drawer or the door. So I do that. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a quarter inch. So I'm using a quarter inch wrench and a parting tool. Right now I'm just truing up the cylinder. And then I can start to turn the shank. What's nice about the wrench is it's slightly oversized, so a quarter inch is going to be a little bit bigger than a quarter. But one of the ch most challenging things is to get the shaft to the right diameter. Uh, the worst thing you can do is leave it a little bit too big and then turn the pole because it's really hard to size this um, once you've already turned it. Uh, this technique is really cool because it allows me to drill some holes into a board. These are all quarter inch, but they get kind of worn out over time. And as long as I can get that to fit, then that's going to be good. So that's a little bit too tight. I'll work on that just a little bit more. Okay, so that's nice. So I'll take that and turn it around. I leave about an eighth of an inch gap between the shoulder and the chuck just so I can get my tool in there without hitting my jaws.
<coughs> so the pole I'm turning has just a tapered sidewall and a tapered end. So I find that just a little skew held on its side to act as a scraper makes this go pretty quick. So that's the basic profile, super quick. I'm just gonna go right to sandpaper and uh, put some wax on there and it should come out pretty nice. So once I'm through the grits, I can just use some of the shavings just to burnish it to a little bit higher sheen. And then I'll throw some wax on there. And that's it. So it takes about five minutes per pole. Once those blanks are made, it goes pretty quick.